and welcome back to DML. So, this was the final battle that we had to do earlier today in order to unlock the new chestnut dragon. So, obviously, our final fight is going to be against the Bubbles, the cute, cute boss dragon. I mean, honestly, I wish I got a hold of the Bubble Dragon myself. We never got him, unfortunately. But defeating him will net us a new dragon. So we got four gems for completing that. And of course, the chestnut dragon himself. So that is for completing round four. And to be honest with you, I was not really on the game all that much because as you probably can tell from the uploads, I have been quite the busybody. So, you know, I'm happy that we managed to get it finished. The event wasn't too strenuous, although two hour logins are still kind of crazy. But along with finishing the boss challenge, we also have the new chain breeding event for the red scale that has begun. And you need the laser dragon to breed it. Which is insane. And for anyone that is wondering, the dragon of the month breeding guide will be out pretty much as soon as I can get it up after this video. But jeez, we need to breed the laser before we can even start trying to get the red scale. That's insane. But... You know, we've also got our chestnut dragon here that's going to take just about a day to finish hatching. So we'll probably hatch him tomorrow or the day after. But, of course, with the laser dragon, we do have, well, we do already know what the required elements are. And so, I'm just going to pop in a regal and fire dragon to start it off on our android account here. Because, you know, it's wind, metal, water, and fire that we need. And the Regal plus Fire combos always worked wonders in the past. Will it work on our first try? No. Not not quite that lucky this time. But um, we need this Legendary as soon as we can get it. Like, literally, we are going to be pulling out all the stops to get a hold of this guy. And what is this? Laser Dragons are super enigmatic and radical. Why is this so broken? You see this? You see how broken his description is? Well, either way... You know, if we don't get the red scale dragon either, I think I am just going to give up on life. No chemistry plus no red scale would mean very unhappy quacks. And of course, on top of everything else that we're going to be trying to breeding at the moment, we also have the mentor dragon, which is the current dragon of the week. And so I'm happy that I already have him personally. I really love this dragon, just how cool he looks. You don't really get too many dragons with a design like this, and look at how bushy his eyebrows are as well. Oh, absolutely perfect. But Seth here, he is a light energy and water epic, and of course the combo to breed him is the eel plus armored dragons, in case you didn't know. But if you want to breed the mentor, and you want to breed the laser, and you want to take part in the red scale rising chain breeding event, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say anymore. Because you need to breed this laser, then you have to breed that laser with a lava dragon, and then you'll be able to breed the red scale dragon. So what are the actual chances or possible outcomes from this breeding combo? I bet they're probably pretty insane, aren't they? I'm sure it's on the DML wiki somewhere, but because I don't even have the Dragon of the Month breeding guide out yet, I am not going to delve into it quite yet. But, you know, this is what happens. It's like I, I leave for a couple of days to do stuff and then I come back and then there's 8 billion things to do. Always 800 million billion things to do. Which, to be fair, is pretty standard. And what is this about our... Our, um... Our people here? Hi! Happy to have you! There we go. We got a new apprentice, so hopefully... Soon enough, we'll be able to actually unlock the Professor Dragon. Although, it seems like most of our apprentices here just aren't logging in. So, you know what? We'll dismiss this one. And we'll dismiss this guy because they haven't been here for 17 days either. Sort of like me. Ha ha ha. How funny. No, I've only been gone for like two days. I've already had people doing the typical like, Are you dead? Have you given up? It's actually sort of annoying to say the least but i mean i've not been doing the clan stuff i've not been doing the enchantment league stuff i've pretty much been doing nothing in terms of dml apart from that uh, boss challenge event obviously and you know we got the dragon out of it so i can't complain it's just obviously when you got real life stuff to do and can't really log in 
to the game, it just feels so bad because I want to get all of the enchantment stuff done. I want to get all the breeding that we can done. I want to get everything else done. Need to get breeding guides done. Why is DML so busy? And then obviously we're going to have the the Norse Divine Event at some undisclosed period in the future. But what do you think? Did you do well in the boss challenge yourself? Did you get the chestnut? Did you finish round five and get the ten dragon ticket rewards that you can get out of it? Because to be fair, with the boss challenge, you can also get quite a lot of gems out of finishing it as well. And plus, with it being so cheap to gem through the event, it's really probably one of the easier events in the game. If you're someone that, you know, is willing to skip through a little bit if they don't have time. Because again, that's the main issue that a lot of events have. If you do have to skip them because you're busy, they are so expensive. So a lot of people just don't finish them and aren't willing to even put forward like a hundred gems to finish it because it won't get them anywhere. Whereas if you have a hundred gems that you can use to skip on the boss challenge event, then that's like, what? More than half of the event done, isn't it? Something like that. Because you get the bonus gems on top as well. So overall, you know, even though I think the demand to have to log in every two hours is a little bit excessive, the fact that they do make it so cheap to gem through isn't so bad. I still think to be able to skip a two hour timer at costing nine gems is still a little bit OTT. Maybe if it was more like five or six, maybe then it'd be a little, like, I, I'd say that would be a reasonable deal. Like, I think that would be perfect, but, you know, they've always got to add a tiny little bit of gem tax on top if people are going to spend it. But I don't know, I haven't heard about any other events coming up either. I know that we're supposed to have a new crowded nursery event, which is probably going to start in an hour from this very moment for me. So I guess we'll see what we get in that as well. And if there's something else in there, I guess I'll have to go and do that as well. I'm just trying to, you know, it's like I just got home literally 10 minutes ago. Trying to get my head back into DML. It takes some time, you know. Having to check through everything, get your head right. Plus I gotta prepare for that stupid breeding. Now I do say the Dragon of the Month breeding is annoying, and it is. But, you know, when you do get the Legendary, it, it can feel quite good. Especially if you get it really quickly. It's only if your breeding sucks that month. Like, your luck is just atrocious, and then it... You just end up not breeding it until the end of week three. I mean, if that were to happen during this week, that would mean you're just guaranteed to not get the red scale as well. But overall, I'm not a massive fan of the fact that it has to use the Dragon of the Month. But hey, what can you do? It's not like we can just demand for Gameloft to change it mid-event. Because they're not really the sorts of people to do that. Like, just in the middle of, like, a chain breeding event, they just change the possible or the, um, required combo. That's not really their style. So, we just have to live with it. Try our best in... You know, it really does remind me of the divine breeding. Remember how we used to have, like, a week or two weeks to breed the special divine during the divine events? And everyone was so panicky over them. This is sort of what the red scale feels like. Plus with the red scale requiring a legendary to breed it, I'd sort of expect a really overpowered dragon or like excessively good compared to what you'd expect, but I'm pretty sure it's just you no know, good old red scale. Just like any other epic. They really had to make the cute birdie dragon require a legendary, didn't they? Typical, typical game loft. Uh, but anyway, let's go collect our food as well. Because that's another thing I haven't been doing really. Haven't been able to collect food. Haven't been able to do our other stuff. Feels bad, Matt. It really does. Because you really don't think about it sometimes when, you know, you do your fights every day. 
and all of your VIP fights and everything. And then when you don't do them, I think it really makes you realize like, wow, I invest so much time into doing this every day. Actually, do I really want to be doing these fights without VIP active? I mean, I don't have many days of VIP tickets left, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to consider whether I want to buy the clam and... Oh god, we only have two days of the extra breeding dead left. No! Not now! Don't do this to me! Oh, I forgot that it was a subscription service, wasn't it? Oh, good sa goodness sake, just when we need it, it's going to go away. Okay, well, I guess I will hop off, start with the monthly breeding guide and work out what the hell we're going to do with those extra breeding dens. But, um, you know, for now, thank you very much for joining me. Again, I hope all of your event progress went well, and I really, really hope that all your breeding goes super well this month as well. So for now, thank you very much for joining me, and until next time, I will see you then.